So in this video, we're looking at the costs involved in buying shares. Now this is going to be very similar to when we were doing uh, real estate and we were looking at the costs involved in buying a house. Uh, one of the costs was the commission that you had to pay the real estate agent. In this case, when you're buying stocks, it's a commission that you have or a brokerage fee that you need to pay to your stockbroker. Uh, let's take a look at a question and then we'll refer to that table a bit later. Uh, Margaret bought 2,000 Coles buyer shares at $7.40 each. What would it cost her to purchase them? Now there's going to be two costs involved, the cost of the shares themselves and then also the brokerage fee that she needs to pay on top of that. Let's look at the cost of the shares themselves first. Uh, the cost of shares, that's going to be easy enough. There's 2,000 shares and there's $7.40 each. Now you put that into your calculator and you'll get $14,000. $800. So the cost of the, just the shares is $14,800. Now it's really just a matter of going up to our table here and looking for where $14,800 fits in. 0 to 5,000, not there. 5,000 to 15,000, okay, it fits inside this bracket. Now we just have to follow these instructions. The brokerage fee is going to be equal to $125. Plus 2% of an amount over 5,000. So we've got cost of shares 14,800. So we need to multiply 2% by 14,800 minus that 5,000 that's up there. All right, you should be able to type that into your calculator in one big hit. Uh, 125 plus 0.02 times 14,800 minus 5,000. Okay, that's going to give us a brokerage fee of $321. Now the total cost of buying these shares, the total cost of this purchase is going to be equal to the price of the shares, 14,800 plus that brokerage fee, 321. That's going to be $15,121. Uh, just a final note on this. What this means for us is because the brokerage fee comes in at that rate of $321, if you buy shares at $7.40 and then you sell them at $7, say, $50, you might actually be making a loss because of these transaction costs involved. Okay, that's costs involved in buying shares.